made a new friend. So this is a 97. Oh, it's starting itself. <laughs> it's a 97 with 60 some thousand miles for sale. The wind was making too much noise, so I turned off the volume, but that gives me an opportunity to remind you that East Coast Ken invited everybody over to his place for a live tonight. New Year's Eve, everybody's going to be there. Hey, the old tech guy, Jay Who, Auto Salvage Outlaws, Nathan's Mopar Garage, Unfinished Project, Oli's, and Spider Garage. I'm sure there are going to be. Actually, that list, those guys are probably going to be there just because they need an alibi. But there'll be gentlemen there, too. Vino Rat Rods, Bryce Wilbur. Mr. Tim Windsor, Rail 22222, my next project. All these guys are going to be there. It'd be great if we had a special guest like uh, Classic Car Cave or Bloodshed Restorations or West Highland Shop. But they're probably sleeping there. They live in the future, like everything adjustable. Speaking of sleeping, JJ and Sons, they're probably sleeping. Those guys need to be working. Or H&H &H Recycling. Now there's somebody probably sleeping in the back of a truck instead of being at work. Close your eyes for a second. Open them. This car is beautiful. So I'm watching videos and small town machine shop and you want to watch and time flies in the shop these guys are still out in December finding estate sales and flea markets and I'm thinking how are they doing this and I'm thinking you know what it's New Year's Eve I'm gonna look around and see if there's any yard sales couldn't find anything except for one moving sale or something from 10 o'clock to noon you got two hours and it it was neat. It was a guy that used to make furniture. So I went and get a load of this. I found some stuff. All right, take a look real, real quick. One and a half things of that fluid. I got this free for the Boy Scouts. You watch my videos. You know that I'm always looking for Fiskars. And these say Finland on them. I don't know if that makes a difference. But like I was saying, this was a um, long retired furniture upholstery guy. That's Pony, made in USA. Pretty cool. I need nails. This kind of stuff, I use it. There were boxes and boxes, I almost want to say cases of all sorts of neat upholstery tacks and stuff like that. I just grabbed this because I just thought that was cool. Love these things. If you look real closely, this is the old Made in USA stuff. Got all that. Got this. A lot of you people don't know what this is, but see this here? That pops off, and you put a cord through there. And you're thinking, cord? What are cords? David Carlyle knows. He knows everything. No, they're not the thing you pull on a parachute. Although, that's bad advice. If you ever are in a situation where you're flying and you've got a parachute, go ahead and pull the cord. But you... You have a drill. Hold on a minute. I've got a helper here. Apparently he wants you to see this ladder. I bought this ladder too. It's a five footer. And look. Highest standing level. One foot, 11 inches. Uh, excuse me. You're, you're, yeah. You need to get off there. That's too high. I guess that's the last step you can take. Alright, I went off on a tangent, but... Let's get back to this stuff. So I was talking about the cord. Yeah, so I use cords. You crack this thing open and you can keep drill bits in there. Pretty neat, huh? Just to go show you, just to show you how old this stuff was. Look at that screw head. And then these. Now I got plenty of channel locks. But uh, I thought this was kind of cool. And it's a craftsman. Now, I got a, some trivia for you. What is this ring? 
Remember these? No batteries needed. You just have to download the right program to learn how to use this thing. But here's what's neat. It says... 1967. Frisbees are dated. That's pretty cool. Okay, so here's a little bit of trivia. One little extra note. These just came from Amazon. Made in USA. They are two dollars and something cents. So do your best in 2024 and search out Made in USA stuff. A lot of it is not expensive. Just got to plan ahead. In fact, these were ordered yesterday and they arrived today. How about this? There was tons of this kind of hardware and it was all organized. It was in original boxes. I bet you some of that stuff dates back. And the furniture of this guy upholstered was beautiful. Beautiful work. But look at these thumbtacks. Do you see? Those are like ninja swords on there. That's not your average thumbtack. Oh, it was cool stuff. I I had that impression of like, oh, if this gets thrown in the trash, it's going to be all, it's going to be horrible. I wanted to go and just pick it all up. But then where am I going to keep it? So here's the trivia. How well do you know all the different YouTubes that you've been watching lately? One of them was showing a plumb bob that was missing this tip. Well, I've got this one that's missing the end. So which channel was it? I'll give you a hint. Was it Kev's Can Cave? Or Goslin Farms? How about Dale's Workshop? Maybe Heidi's here and there? Or Big Vic's? Or was it You Wanna Watch? Let's see if you know the guesses. Oh, and speaking of guesses, so how much was that truck? That truck had 69,000 miles on it. It was simply beautiful. But uh, the price tag, outside of my range, $49,000. That's a 1997. The, uh, the fellow said he's had offers of 40000 already, but they're going to have to offer more. Isn't that something? And those minis, those are pretty cool. More about the minis on another time. Happy New Year, everybody. I hope you can join us tonight. Wishing you all the best. Health and happiness and good ideas for 2024. Thanks for watching, everyone.